This is Eugene Fanridge. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. To have, today, we have a Dell Inspiron 1564 laptop computer with a cracked screen that we're going to show you how to replace. Now, before we do anything, so as not to damage the laptop or the screen, we're going to remove the battery. So for now, it's fairly simple. Slide this big lever and pull the battery back. So let's put the battery aside. Now, when removing most laptop screens, you have to remove the screen bezel first. This plastic frame around the screen is called the screen bezel. For most makes of laptops, there are some screws on the screen bezel that you have to remove before you can remove the screen bezel. But for this particular design of the laptop, there's no screws, it just snaps in. So we're going to snap it off and go from there. Before we go further, we're going to show you the tools we need. Uh, pretty simple, just a small electronics screwdriver with a PH1 bit and a pair of sharp tweezers to remove screws that are stuck and manipulate cables, but we might not even need this one. Okay, let's snap off the bezel first. What I like to do is go from the screen side, usually start from the side, and with my fingertips just start lifting the bezel. Sometimes they come off easily and sometimes they're a pain. So if you get stuck in one spot, you just keep working around the laptop until you find places where it does snap off. And you keep moving around, like so. Eventually, you know, I'll give this is probably the hardest part of the job. So take your time on this. If it doesn't work from the screen side, sometimes I like to go from the other side. And that usually works. So keep going. This will probably take you a little bit longer because I'm experienced at this. And slowly lift it out. So just take your time on this and don't get frustrated. Oh, it'll come. Okay, the screen bezel is off. And now we have the screen exposed. So for the screen, this type of screen, it's mounted on the sides on some metal mounting brackets with some screws. And we have to get to these screws. Uh, it's a little bit hard, so we have to tilt the screen forward a little bit to get to these screws. And the way we do that is we remove a couple screws from the top that hold the metal bracket to the screen lid like so I'm trying to work with my left hand so that you get a clear picture okay now we can tilt the screen forward a little bit but not enough to get to all the screws so we have to loosen the metal brackets from the screen lid and to do that there's a couple screws here that we loosen one and two and do the same on the other side so there's one and one screw is kind of behind the cable so you have to get your screwdriver in there like so and now we can tilt the screen forward enough so we can get to all the screws okay so what we do is we tilt the screen forward like so and that gives us barely enough room to get to this bottom screw the rest are easier that's one three screws on each side two uh there some there's four holes so your laptop might have more screws on each side just look how many screws each one has okay so we get three here 
Alright. Next, we go on the other side and remove this three screws on the other side. One. Now, when you do this, make sure the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit so when the screws are out, it just doesn't fall flat on you. Okay. And almost there. And this is where our tweezers come in handy. This screws out, but it doesn't want to come out all the way, so we remove it with tweezers, like so. Now notice I keep the different sets of screws in a separate pile. That's a good way to keep organized. All right, so now we tilt the screen forward. And there's one connector in a standard place. This is an LED screen. LED screens for the most part just have one connector. So there's some adhesive tape. We lift up the adhesive tape. And there's adhesive on the back of the connector assembly. So we lift that up back like this. And let's see, and then we just slide it out like so. And the screen is free. So this is a very standard screen, not too difficult to find. There is a problem that I recently discovered that I'll talk to you about. Okay, so let's look at the part number. This is LP156WH2. That's the part number you need. LP156WH2. So uh, when you order the screen, that's the part number you need to do a search. Now I recently discovered the screen that is supposed to be 100% compatible. It's called LTN156 AT09. It's not really compatible and it doesn't work. So um, when you order the screen, make sure you specify that it's a Dell 1564 laptop. Make sure you don't get the LTN 156 AT09. Uh, we had a bad experience with this. That's why I'm telling you this. Now you can also order the screen directly from us, from Screen Surgeons. All you do is go ScreenSurgeons.com and click on Buy a Screen and follow the instructions there. Okay, uh, once you get your screen back, or once you get your screen in, you put the connector back in, like so, slide it back in. Let's actually do it just to show you what it looks like. So that's the probably the biggest problem is when it's put back in. Let's see if we can get a good focus. So it should look like something like this when it's back in. Okay, one is back in, and then you put the screen back in like so, put the screws on the side, make sure you tighten these screws down here, put the screws in on top, and snap the bezel in, and that's it. Shouldn't be too difficult job. Okay, um, that's it. My name is Eugene Panrikovich. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com, and I'm the laptop screen doc. Thank you, and good luck.